if you have a progress bar in your game, like so, you might want to change the default progress bar because this, you know, it's not perfect. So let's take a look at how we can do that. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a new resource called theme. Or if you already have one, you can set this as your default or whatever. Inside of this default, we're going to go to manage items. We're going to go to import items, search up progress bar, find these two and click this. Import selected, close. We can just click OK. On the right hand side, you can see the progress bar and you can start changing a bunch of things. For now, just as an example, I'll change the style. I like to do this. This is what I like to do. I like to make a flat box for both of these. And inside of these, what I'll do is I'll make the fill to green. And then I'll go to the background and make it red. This is just a very simple health bar, essentially. Now you can see here that this is not complete, right? It didn't change. So what we'll do is we'll head to project settings. We will search up a theme. Go to theme right here. Go to the custom. We'll click this custom right here and load in our default. Let's save and restart. And now you can see immediately that our progress bar has changed. If I change the value to 50, you'll see that it changes to 50. We can turn off the show percentage if you'd like. And now you have a custom uh, progress bar that is consistent every time you add a new one. So just to show this, you can add a new one right here and you'll see that it is instantly taking in the progress bar from my default font. All right, so that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please hit the sub button down below and the notification bell. Also subscribe to my email list down below. Uh, I send out weekly challenges every Sunday and with a solution video attached to it as well. So I'll see you all in the future.